Here's a problem about motion, specifically with regards to an electron, and we have a nice little diagram here to show us what's going on. The problem mentions that the acceleration is assumed constant, which allows us to use the three kinematics equations that can work for cases with constant acceleration. The first step of any problem like this is to use our knowns and unknowns to figure out which of the equations will be best to start with. We're looking for acceleration, so we'll want to choose an equation that has the acceleration variable in it, which is all of them, so that doesn't help much anyway. But we also might want to choose an equation that includes the variables of initial velocity, final velocity, and the length, or displacement, since those are the variables that are given to us. Only the third of these equations has all three, and not only that, but it's also the only equation that excludes the time variable, the t, which is important because the problem does not give us the time information. So this is the equation we'll go with. We'll want to solve this equation for a, so let's first get the v naught squared, um, subtract it from both sides to get the term with a on it on its own, like this. Then we'll divide both sides of the equation by 2 times the displacement to get a on its own. And you should get an equation that looks like this. I've shortened the x minus x naught as just delta x, since the problem only gives us the displacement in terms of a single length anyways. But this is the equation we'll want to use, so now all we need to do is plug these numbers into the equation, the numbers the problem gives us. The initial velocity, 1.50 times 10 to the fifth power of meters per second, can go in for v naught, the initial speed. 5.70 times 10 to the sixth power of meters per second is the final speed, since that's what it emerges with. And for x, for the displacement, the problem gives us that as 1 centimeter. Though in order to keep our units consistent, we we'll want to convert that into meters. So you could just write that as 1 times 10 to the power of negative 2 meters. If you plug all those values into this formula, then you'll find an acceleration of about 1.62 times 10 to the 15 meters per second squared. And that is the acceleration of the electron in this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to clear it up. If you have any requests for future videos, I have a Discord server linked below in the description, so you can talk to me there if you'd like to uh, have a conversation about this problem, or if you'd like to send me uh, a problem that you'd like me to cover in a future video. That's all for now. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.